Welcome back. This is going to be the last big game day appetizer that I'm going to do for you. Um, this appetizer is, is so simple and so cheap to make that it's unbelievable. Um, it's probably the most, I would say, requested thing that I make, like if I go to parties or, you know, if I'm a house guest, something like that. Of course, I always cook and everybody's like, hey, make those jalapeno roll things. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this and share this with you. And uh, you're going to love these. They're excellent. What I have here is I have a block of cream cheese, and this is actually fat-free cream cheese, so it has no fat and it's fairly okay in calories. Um, I have some, these are just regular wraps, and there's different varieties, different kinds. Problem with these is they're a little bit high in calories, to be honest. Um, they go from about anywhere from 50 to 250 calories, something like that, but these are actually about 180 calories a piece, so we're gonna go with those. I also have some, basically these are just pickled jalapenos that I cut up into relish. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and use those as well, especially if you like it hot, this is a great dish for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff together and here we go. Okay, basically we're just gonna go ahead and take our spatula. We're gonna take one of our wraps and I'm just gonna cut off a hunk of this cream cheese. Now you should let the cream cheese soften. And what I mean by that is just kind of set it outside the fridge for about an hour before you prepare this because it does need to be a little bit softened. And you know, you don't need to throw it in the microwave or anything like that. Just kind of let it get room temp. And this actually probably could have sat out a little bit more, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spread this on my tort. Very easy. Just like that. And a block of cheese really makes it a lot of these. I'm only gonna make a few pieces because, you know, obviously it's, I don't have a house full of guests right now, but I'll give you the, the, the general idea of how to do these. And I'll tell you, they're just so popular. Okay, here we go. Nice and covered. Now, we're gonna throw these in the oven um, at about 325 degrees, and we're gonna cook these for anywhere from about seven to 10 minutes, maybe even 11 minutes, depending on how crispy you like them. I like them a little bit crispy, so I'm probably gonna be shooting more for about 10 minutes, I think. You just take your relish and you just kind of sprinkle it on like so. Very easy. And again, for the lovers you know, of spicy foods and, and the hot sauce people and, and the hot wings, you are gonna love these. These are just fantastic and they're so easy. Okay. Like so. And you just simply take your, take your wrap and you just kind of roll it up, almost like carpet. Just like so. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into small pieces, about an inch in width. And I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is take off the end piece because it's always kind of, a, kind of a dud. Toss this, okay. So just about an inch. Now these are, these are fairly low in calories. They're certainly lower than a lot of things people eat while they're watching the big game. But this isn't as calorie friendly as a lot of things that I make, let's say. Okay, here we go. Here's five pieces. This is what they look like inside, okay? Very simple, very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more on camera for you. Whoops. So we've got our wrap. Take our cream cheese, put it on there, smear it around. You don't want to like glob it in there. You want to be fairly generous with it, but you don't want to really, I mean, you don't want it to be half an inch thick on this, obviously, because one block of cheese should make several pieces. Enough to feed, oh, I don't know, I'd say eight or 10 people. Okay, just like that. Time for the relish. And I'm sprinkling this relish on pretty generously. Um, if you really don't, if really not into the super spicy kind of thing or whatever, but you like a little bit of spice, just use less relish. No big deal. Awesome. 
Okay, here we go. Now again, just take your wrap, roll it up like this. Try to make the, the roll pretty tight, just like that. Let's take our knife, cut our end off. Actually, your pet would probably love that. Well, that's if they're into spicy. I happen to once own a Dalmatian that was, I think the dog was Cajun. He loved anything spicy. He'd eat hot peppers off the floor, anything like that. Okay. Just like so. <clears throat> now, again, I'm not making a whole lot of these because it's just a demonstration, of course. But what I'm going to do is, like I say, I have my oven heated up to 325 right now. I'm just going to kind of set these guys in here like this. Um, a cookie sheet would be fine. I'm using a, like a glass casserole, but just whatever you have available. You definitely want to put them on something. I don't recommend aluminum foil, to be honest. Anyway, so here we are, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to the oven, and we're probably going to be there, I'm going to say, 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, I've gone ahead and taken them out of the oven, and I, I let them stand there for about 11 or 12 minutes because I wanted to get them good and crispy. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can serve these guys. Um, one method is to go ahead and put some salsa in a dish and some sour cream on the side kind of thing wherever you happen to put these on your table, but I prefer to actually decorate them a little bit. So what I do is I just take my salsa, just take a little bit and put it on the top, because it really does set these guys off. So a little bit more right there. Just like so. You can kind of flatten them out a little bit, that's okay. Now, I'm going to take, remember our frosting bag, and it's got, of course, full of sour cream. And just take a, just put a dot of sour cream on each one. Just like that. Very simple, very easy. Um, it, it's relatively low in fat, and it's going to be very, very popular at your next party. Now for my favorite part, the taste. Here we go. Just going to take one of these guys that looks good right out of the right out of the dish and here we go. Mm. Very spicy, creamy. You'd never know it was non-fat. Non -fat. Absolutely spectacular. These are very popular. You're going to be very happy you made these. Your guests are going to be very happy that you made these. As usual, all my recipes can be found at www.thebuffchef.com. Thanks for stopping by.